Yo, what's up everybody? It's Superfly Fat Guy, A59, coming at you again. And I wanted to talk to you guys about a little pen that I recently purchased. It was an add-on item on Amazon. And um, it only cost me like four bucks. I've seen these in other videos. I wish I could give the credit, but I don't remember where the hell I saw them. Uh, but it's made by Zebra. Let me see if I can get that in here. It's made by Zebra. It comes in several colors. Uh, pink and blue, gray, white, black, um, and maybe a couple others. But the, the coolest thing about this, and when I say little, I mean little, okay? The coolest thing about this is it shrinks down. And what I, like, what blows me away, um, it, well, first of all, when you pull it out, it, uh, it exposes the tip of the pen there, you know, the ballpoint pen. And when you close it, it retracts. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Um, it's called that, what is it, the SL, SLF1. Sorry, I had to look, <laughs> I had to look and see the name of it. Um, but the coolest thing about this, check this out. This is the Fisher Space Pen, the Bullet Space Pen. Look how much shorter it is. And it's actually considerably, let's see here. Take that out. Even, even with the cap off, it's littler. And it's considerably thinner, too. This thing is just absolutely incredible. Like, <laughs> this thing is so awesome, it's unreal. I've already, you know, I've written with it here. I'll show you. I'll show you just what it looks like writing. I mean, it writes good. I'll just kind of scribble a little bit here. But, I mean, it writes very well. Um, there's no light spots or anything like that. It writes awesome. That's my name. <laughs> but um, I figured I'd do a little size comparison for you. I did the, the Fisher Space Pen, but maybe if somebody doesn't have one, they don't know quite how small it is. So I'll show you a Bic lighter. Okay. So that's how big it is. It's, it's damn near as long as a Bic lighter, just a little bit longer. And then here is a chapstick. So not much bigger than a chapstick, maybe, uh, I don't know, a little bit more than a half inch. <clears throat> so this thing is, is amazing. And I'll show you what I do with it. Now it is a little too big to fit into my Knife Tex, uh EDC kit here. I do have little things in here now and um, that'll be for a later video. It's a little too big for that. It's not quite that micro. Maybe if you cross crossed it like that, but then you wouldn't have anything in one of those pockets. Um, but I'll show you what I do with it. Now I'm not going to show you what's in my wallet. But um, I've still got this wallet. Still rocking the hell out of this wallet. I don't care that it's purple and I don't care that it's Velcro. But here's, what, here's where I put it. I don't know if you can see that little silver thing down in there in the corner. But I put it in the corner of my wallet and that's where I keep it. So I have a pin on me at all times. So, um, anyway, guys, like I said, it's about $4. That's what I paid for it. Uh, the downside to what where I bought it, I didn't notice that it was coming directly from Japan. And it took nearly a month to get here. Um, it didn't take as long as they had estimated, but it still took nearly a month to get here. So, um, anyway, guys, that's, that's pretty much it. I, again, I'm sure you get these on Amazon because that's where I got this one. Beware of where it's coming from because it might take a while. Or maybe you can get them on eBay or another, uh, you know, another site like that. But um, excellent, excellent pen. And, you know, if it was this small, it'd be a little bit cumbersome to write with. Just because you wouldn't have uh, as much length on it. But when you, teles when you telescope it... <laughs> um, it's just, just perfect, absolutely perfect. So anyway, guys, that's my review and uh, overview all at the same time of the Zebra SLF1 Mini Ballpoint Pen. Pick one up today, <laughs> everybody. Take it easy.